Hey guys, day 11 of 13 days of Halloween. We're gonna try to make some artist trading coins today. I'm starting out with some lime and evergreen Dina Wakely acrylic paint. I'm just gonna apply that to a piece of Bristol Spooth cardstock with a brayer. And I'm gonna go in with the lime first and then a little bit less of the evergreen. And I'm gonna take this crafters workshop stencil and a clean baby wipe and remove some of that evergreen paint to reveal the texture of the stencil. Once I was happy with that, I'm gonna take some Distress Oxide and Twisted Citron and this stamp by Viva Las Vegas Stamps called Cross X's, um, but the Twisted Citron wasn't dark enough for me, so I thought I would try to stamp with some of the evergreen acrylic paint. And um, so I just put a little bit down on my craft sheet and then pressed my stamp into that and then stamped onto my paper. And I was much happier with that color. And then I got out some archival ink in olive and shadow gray. And these are the little letter it um, stamp pads. And they're the mini stamp pads. And then I started to stamp with this Viva Las Vegas stamps. It looks supposed to look like staples. Um, but it was really dark, so I thought I'd just do some second generation stamping. So I stamped off on a piece of cardstock first and then stamped onto my um, project. And then I'm going in with um, a second stripe of color with turquoise, peacock, and blackberry Dina Wakely Media Acrylics. And um, I'm going to do the same, apply that with my brayer. And my idea was because I knew I was going to do artist trading coins and they're about 2.5 inches in diameter. So I was trying to do these stripes of um, color so that I could die cut circles out. And um, But I wanted, I didn't want all the coins to be in the same color. So... Um, now I'm going to take this Dilution Spiderweb uh, border stencil and remove some of the darker paint to reveal that spider webbing. And I'm going to apply some of that um, blackberry. And it looks really dark at first, but once I remove that paint with the baby wipe, I really like the way it looks. And then um, I'm going to go in with some Tangerine and Cheddar Dina Wakely acrylic. And there was still a little um, turquoise and blues left on my brayer, but um, grungy is kind of the look I was going for with applying the, plate, the paint with a, a brayer. So then I'm taking this Donna Downey Scribble Script stencil and removing some of the paint with my baby wipe. And now I'm just taking a circle die and seeing where I want to die cut my coins from. So I die cut five of them, and then I decided um, that I was gonna do my stamping after I had cut them out, like the first strip of color I did. I did the stamping, but I thought it would make more sense to cut them out and then do the stamping. So I'm taking the same inks I used before, the shadow gray and um, a mesh, check, mesh, mesh texture stamp, cross X's stamp, and um, row of number stamp by Viva Las Vegas stamps and doing some little background texture stamping and then this stamp here is a Halloween sentiment from Viva Las Vegas stamps and I just want to stamp that around in my background too and then I'm going to stamp some Halloween images using my um, Tim Holtz stamping platform because I want these um, main images to be super super dark so I'm stamping with um, Verse of fine yeah versafine onyx black ink because it's super super black and then some of them I'm going to stamp once and twice which is why I'm using my stamp platform um, just to make sure the images get super super dark and then I'm, ju I'm just using some um, Halloween kind of um, themed stamps from Viva Las Vegas stamps we have Nosferatu I stamped first this little devil guy um, the crow's not necessarily Halloween-y but um you know, and then I have this death moth with, which also isn't Halloween themed, but um, I needed a fifth Halloween stamp that would fit on my cards here. So then I'm just taking this tree stamp by Viva Las Vegas stamps and I'm just inking up the top portion, uh, like where the branches are like um, 
very spooky looking and I'm going to stamp that around because I thought my coins needed a little bit extra something going on in the background. And then I'm stamping that same Halloween sentiment that I stamped in the background and I'm stamping it all over because I'm just going to cut out the part of the stamp that says Halloween. So I'm just going to stamp that five times and then cut out the Halloween word. I'm going to edge that with some stays on black ink and then just apply that to each one so each coin says Halloween. Um, this is my first attempt at artist trading coins and I could see how people get addicted to this. I think they're super adorable. Oh, and then I'm going to add my favorite black splatters, which is black India ink. And that's it for these coins. I will definitely try these coins again. I really had a lot of fun making them. Um, it's a different substrate, you know, because it's a circle. It's not uh, your normal um, ATC. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you guys. We have two more videos of 13 days of Halloween left. I can't believe October's almost over already. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye guys.